Hi, welcome to your Grimaldi and Weiss property. If you receive this video, we are giving you instructions on how to use the pool heater at your particular property. Uh, the Gulfstream, this is the main heater that we use for, I'd say about 80% of our property. So again, if you're watching this video, this applies to your pool heater. This is Cami's Airbnb. You may not be at this specific property, but these instructions will apply to this exact heater. It may not be the same exact setup, but if you listen to everything I have to say, it should be fairly easy to get the heater going. Um, now, we keep our heaters at 86 degrees on a schedule where the pool pump and the pool heater are running at 86 degrees from around 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. They're sorry, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. to 7, 8, or 9 p.m. every day. So it may take a few hours for the pool to start heating up to a nice temperature, especially during the cold months. Um, but if for whatever reason you think something's not working, we're happy to give you the instructions. Um, so first, like I said, we run the heater at 86 degrees. We happen to be in summer, so the pool, the pool temperature is at 89 degrees right now. There's really no need for the heater, but for the sake of example, I'm gonna show you how to get it running. So I'm gonna turn it up to about 93 degrees just to get this thing on. The way to get it to a different temperature would be to hit the mode button until you are in the pool heat mode or section, whatever you wanna call it. You can see I'm hitting mode to toggle through. When you get to pool heat, take your hand off. So I'll go slow now to get there and then use the arrows to toggle the temperature. I'm gonna turn it to 93 just to get it going. Most of these machines are on a timer. So you'll see now it'll kick on in 116 seconds. So I'll show you how to use the pump in the meanwhile. Quick side note, um, you know, we're, we're doing this for the sake of example, but if you have the pool at 86, 87 degrees and you're just not happy with that temperature and you really want to put the pool temperature above 90 degrees, we're happy to accommodate, but it's not great for the machine and it's certainly going to increase our energy bill by a lot. So we would have to charge you a fee in that instance and just ask us, we'll accommodate. If something seems like it's not working, please don't start playing with things or playing with nozzles. You can always call us and we will figure it out. But nine times out of 10, these instructions should get you where you need to be. Um, like I was saying earlier, uh, the pool heater does not work without the pool pump because the pool pump needs to pump water into the heater to heat it and then put it back in the pool. So uh, yes, we need the pool pump to be on which you can hear the machine right now, it's running, the pool pump is on, and the heater will turn on in about a minute. If for some reason you're doing this at nighttime or early morning or whatever, the schedule may have had a, a slight glitch that day, you simply, it'll be off like this, you'll hear there's no sound now, it's not running. You'll simply turn it off. Or if for some reason this clock is stuck, you can pull the clock out and turn it on that way. off, on, and that is the way the pool pump works. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this oh. pool pump analog setup is pretty much the same for every property, but it may not be located in the same exact spot. But there'll be something like this with a lever, just open it. It'll usually have an East Coast pool sticker on it because that's the pool company we use for 90% of our properties. There you go, we have the pool heater turned back on. When you're done using the pool heater, say you wanted to turn it up to a very high temperature and you've paid the fee or, or you haven't, and you've only turned it up to 88, 89 degrees. The only thing we ask is that before you go to sleep, you turn the pool heat back to 86 degrees. And you turn the pool pump, you see it'll kick off. And you turn the pool pump back off so that way we're not running the machines 24 7. it's not good for the machines and it's certainly not the best for our energy bill i want you guys to have a great time that's why we run the pool heater about 12 hours a day which is probably more than they run it at a hotel but we cannot run it 24 7. Um, that's pretty much it if you have any questions just give us a holler thank you